using meditation as a gateway to opening up our intuitive abilities. And just, um, by 14, 15, I was, had a daily meditation practice. And they're like, whoa, you have tons of untapped intuitive potentials. But I get guidance, I get wisdom, it helps me in my life, it brings mm -hmm. me peace, it brings me clarity. I'm like, you know, I'm gonna start listening. Yeah. You know, yeah. Uh, when I listen, things work out well. When I the don't. biggest message has really just been to trust. I like it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, okay, so by 14 you were meditating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, again, because my journey started then. My, my dad and my mom were interested in this stuff, so we had a, the, the psychic medium, John Edward, had a tape out at the time, a cassette tape, uh -huh. um, Unleashing Your Psychic Potential, and that's where I found meditation, energy protection, how to connect with your guides, stuff like that. And that became what is, what is now you know, a lifelong quest for me. And it was, a, it was a quiet practice. I always like to say it was a quiet practice at first. Like I was bringing through messages. Um, very clear. I was a very clear audience okay. when I was younger. Um, Are you still now? Still, yeah, still yeah, am. Okay. Yeah, I still am. I was super strong still. <laughs> you were like, I was. <laughs> Once upon a time, and yeah. then somehow I... <laughs> no, which does happen to people, by the way. You know, sometimes people are very much an open book or a channel, mm -hmm. and they have an instance where they feel that they need to cut themselves off from that for whatever reason that happens. Right. And then they have to find that again, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, and that's, a good, and that's a good point. You know, actually, that I, I want to use that as a little bit as like, that's a bit of what I get into a little bit in the book. I talk a lot about the chakra system. Okay. Um, uh, because I found when I discovered the chakra system and how it was connected to energy and intuition and how the different intuitive senses are really just extensions of uh, the way our, our chakras metabolize energy, so to yeah. speak. Um, when I found that and I, and I began a daily uh, chakra practice is when uh, all of the kind of psychic potential, intuitive potential in me started to really open up. Mm. Um, and that was, it was funny, you know, as I've had guides along the way, you know, because this journey started for me so young, it was a, it was an Akashic Records reading where these two women and they, I, I said, they sat down, they did the, the prayer and they're like, whoa, you have tons of untapped intuitive potential. You enjoying this so far? Did you forget to subscribe? Make sure to do so. It takes two seconds. Just press that little button, the red one, you know, the one, just press it. Little like, all right, enjoy the rest of this content. I was like, really? And you know, I've always considered myself intuitive. Yeah. But it was that little nudge, you know, that was about eight years ago that I really like opened up. Yeah, you took a dive. You didn't just stick your foot in anymore. You were like, all right, I came right. to swim. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. Because like I was mentioning, it was, it, was a very, it was a very private practice before. I figured, I'm not sure if this is what it is, but I get guidance, I get wisdom. It helps me in my life. It brings mm -hmm. me peace. It brings me clarity. Uh, when I listen, things work out well. When I don't listen, I tend to get the same advice <laughs> over and over, you know? <laughs> yeah, get the same pattern over and over right. again. Isn't that right? Yes. You know, like we, we get an inkling and we get an intuition we don't listen to it mm -hmm. and then we find ourselves days weeks months later saying <laughs> why did I listen to that yeah you know I knew better mm -hmm. I felt it mm -hmm. I even have that sometimes when I get like this vision like ah, I need to grab my keys or don't forget my credit card and then like I'll, I'll mm -hmm. like lose it you know mm -hmm. and it's just like it, but it was like the slow motion image that was so vivid and then I'm like man I knew I was paying extra attention to it for a reason, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And that happens all, I mean, that happens to me all the time too. Yeah. And it was the more I paid attention to it, right? Yeah. The more like, you know, I'm going to start listening. Yeah. You know, and, uh, and over time, and that's, and that's essentially what leads me to where I am at now. Like now I'm teaching workshops on using meditation as a gateway to opening up our intuitive abilities and just being more sensitive. Mm. And, um, and that comes with a lot of discipline, a lot of practice. And then the big thing is just like trusting, mm -hmm. is learning how to trust. I think that's the biggest thing that's come out of this for me, and especially as it's morphed and shifted from just like a private practice to doing something that I was called to, you know, work with others and introduce or help facilitate, you know, open, open up doors and windows for people. Um, along that whole entire process, it, the biggest message has really just been to trust, to mm -hmm. learning how to trust those subtle cues, those things that emerge. Yeah. Like you said, a slow motion vision. Yeah. You know, whatever it is that comes through for you. Uh, learning how to trust that stuff and then walk it is when I think we can start to see like real transformation. I like it. Yeah.
If you like this content, make sure that you like, subscribe, and comment below. And we also have amazing link right there for some cool product. I know you want to check it out. I know you want to click it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on. You can do it. All right. Until next time. Have a beautiful, blessed day.